There you are. Okay, hold on, guys. Emily? Hold on, it's just, it's just ringing. It's just ringing. No, oh, no, I'm here. Oh, hey! Hey! Hi! <laughs> Hi, babe! Hi! Oh, my God, I'm so, I didn't prepare my background. You you are the foreground and you are where my focus is. Okay, okay. Hi. I, I, love I feel like I get to, like, being in quarantine, I get to see all my favorite people more than I ever see them in life, so. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's yeah, because we were supposed to have a dinner party and then things got crazy, so this is actually really nice to get to hang out. Yeah, had we had that dinner party, we would have been the last people each other touched or saw yeah. outside yeah. of the house. Um, so who your is birthday kiss. Wait, wait, I have an important question. Who is the last person that you've touched? Um, I think, you can think about it. <laughs> yeah, well, because so I've since recently I've touched people. So the last person okay. I touched before you weren't allowed to touch people, and then it got a little yes. bit like touch and then wash your hands. Um, um, <laughs> was uh this showrunner that I met right when everything was happening. And mm -hmm. I went like this to hug her and she's like, oh, I don't think we're supposed to hug. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> sorry. And then she was like, let's do it anyway. And so we did it and that was it. <laughs> oh my God, I, I, I'm gonna, I wanna touch you here. Oh. Um, okay, Emily, so. Uh, your first gay kiss? We have so much to talk about. I feel like you're <laughs> Okay, you talk, do you wanna tell me your first gay kiss and I'll tell you, you want me to go first? Okay. Um, well, uh, mine is, um, mine, like, first was definitely in high school. I mm, told a girl we had to French kiss to practice for boys. That is the way, isn't it? <laughs> and were you, wait, wait, and what did the girl say when you said that? Oh, yeah. We, pra we did a lot of practicing of other practice, 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 practiced. Like first boy, base. Boy, am I good for boys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> first, yeah. Base. first base. Okay. What, what was yours? Uh, mine is weird. So I was in college. Okay, I came out to my mom at seventeen, saying I liked girls, and I went to college. I was literally going to college in like a month. I was like, I'm gonna t drop this and then leave. You know, smart. And so there was a girl in my dorm named Fish, who was out as a lesbian. <laughs> Yeah, and Northwestern. And was the chosen name? I guess she chose it as a nickname. Okay. So yeah, it, wasn't, she, okay. it wasn't a given name. But oh, so no. she wanted it to be my first kiss, but I wasn't I wasn't into her. So I don't like fish. I don't eat anything from the sea. Like I never have and I never will because I think it's gross. But anyways. Fish tacos. No, not fish tacos. I, <laughs> <laughs> no tacos. Okay. So then sophomore year. Uh -huh. There was a girl who came, who was out as a lesbian, and I thought she was really cute. And we arranged through a gay male friend to have our first kiss. But I had, ha I was so nervous. I'd had a lot of orange juice in the morning, which is very acidic, and I have a very really acidic stomach. Gerd. So we we made out, and then I threw up. <gasps> no, no, Nikki, no. Is this seriously here? Because that is a bit seriously. On my life, Shepard, so my sophomore year, we made out, and I was so nervous and, and not upset, but just, like, freaked out that I liked it and, and scared. I And I didn't throw it in front of her. I threw it in front of her, but I threw up all the orange juice. It is gross. Someone's like, it's gross. It's gross. It is. But it's also so, because you're a writer, so it's, like, one of those perfect things. It's, like, the first time I was ever recognized for Schitt's Creek was when I went to get, and I'm not even making this, I went to get a colonic in Toronto. And I, and the woman doing it was like, oh, I feel weird if I don't say something. If I do, I don't know, but I really <laughs> like the show. And like, I'm getting a colonic and the show's called Shit's Creek. So anyways, that was, um, so it's one of those too good to be true. Like that's really it's, the truth. But you, yeah, wait, your Emily, kiss is amazing. You have to write about that. Wait, so let me just tell everybody, cause I, I want really you to talk. I'm gonna, I wanna shut up. You did Don't Tell My Mother for October, an October show, our coming out show. And it's kind of speaking of things we do in Toronto, um, you told an amazing story that there's a phrase I will never forget. There's two things you said that I will never forget. One, one is I chest came. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Wait, don't tell my mother I did it because it wasn't being recorded. <laughs> okay, yeah, uh-huh, okay. <laughs> 
Um, do you want to share anything about that story? Or would you like to move on? <laughs> um, I'm dying to know what the other thing was. But um, I mean, it was a story about uh, a massage mm -hmm. that I don't know if it, it was. Well, the, the second phrase that was my favorite was, I can choose any dick I want. <laughs> oh my God, this sounds so good. God, I hope my mother's not watching this. Your mother does not know IG Live. She can't. Yeah, yeah, no, okay. No, and you know, when we did that show, I literally geo learned how to geoblock my mom yep. from the internet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. To know about it, to anything. So. Anyways, yes, that was, and the, uh, choose any, uh, you know, any dick I want was from, um, I would say my, okay, it wasn't my first, but I would say it was my first significant girl mm -hmm. on girl experience. Right. Of, well, experience with someone who really had experience. Totally. Yeah. So right. that's, that was, she opened a drawer and was like, she was telling me all the, um, uh, perks of being a lesbian. She was trying to con convince me because at the time she had um, slid into my DMs, but we had a mutual friend. And ooh, wait, people, therapist has uh, my Instagram name. Get I get offended when people who do appropriate. Oh no, it wasn't inappropriate. Message. I thought it was appropriate. I can't read clearly, so I thought <laughs> I was like, we're not She's supposed to. No, no, she said appropriate massages, but actually it wasn't even an appropriate, inappropriate massage. No, it wasn't. It was actually very, it was very spiritual. It was yep. very uh, crystals, lots of crystals. It wasn't, yep. I really misrepresented that. It did not go like, but it was just, it wasn't that sexual was a at funny all. term at the time, but yes, it was, uh, it was called Lumi Lumi. So it definitely wasn't sexual. No, um, and, the, and the massage was more about opening your chest, your chakra. And so when yes. you, he was doing a chakra thing on me. <laughs> oh my god! But uh, anyways, yeah, that um, that person slid into my DMs and like asked me out on a date, and I'm like, what? what makes you think I like girls? <laughs> and uh, and she was like, oh, I'm, oh, I'm sorry, I just assumed because of the show, and I'm like, well, what do you mean? Right. Like, because of all the the plaid? And yeah. she's like, yeah, I guess so. And I was like, oh, okay, well. Where do you want to meet? <laughs> Wait, did she say, did she literally say the plaid? plaid? I suggested that. I said I was throwing things out there as to why she would think that, like what gave her that impression. And I said, was it the plaid? And she said, maybe with this emoji. So. <laughs> and then you actually hung out. I did. Now, just to FYI, like, she didn't just slide in, like, we knew some mutual people in common. It exactly. wasn't like a, was it like a, you know, one of those. Right. You didn't <laughs> just slide in out of nowhere. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, can we just talk about something that you and I have shared about a little, which is like, um, like how folks identify? Because mm -hmm. I've, I've heard you identify as pan, but then I, maybe, maybe that's not even accurate or maybe that's not even a, a something you've chosen I don't know I'm just curious well I definitely I do feel like I was bullied is the wrong term but I think it's a funnier term bullied into labeling myself or like that I had to um because I I think I would never really I mean I'd always I guess thought of myself as straight when I was younger I was married for eight years um but also I always like looked at girls and I usually found gr girls were the ones I was like oh they're hot and but I always thought it was like I want to be them which sometimes it is it's like I want those tits or but then sometimes it's I want to with those tits um and so that like, but that evolved. But then when I was doing the show, uh, oh no, it was like I I was in a relationship and it was uh, got public-ish and um, and then people were a lot of people were like asking about my sexuality um, and that was the first time I really thought about it in a way that I had to 
to have a label because before that like my at that time that this was after i was married i had been with women i had been with men i had been with trans women trans masculine like, slut 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 i and, love your sluts um and but i didn't label myself as anything i guess maybe because it wasn't one one specific person like place on the gender spectrum um and then when I was in that relationship and lots of people were commenting, it was very funny because a lot of people were like, well, first of all, this is my fault. I read the comments like, and I look for the bad things because um, I want to torture myself. I, I know we're, yeah. we're like, you're not Jewish, but like you are a little like, yes. we, we just have so much Ajita. Yeah, well, I'm Catholic. I went to, I mean, I'm not practicing yet, but I went to all yeah. Catholic school. So I feel like I'm being punished all same, the time. Same, same. And, and like, you're always in trouble, right? Like you're always oh, in yes. trouble. God always. is going to punish me. Yep. Yes. And the, I have that, like, if I don't work extra, extra, extra hard. And yeah, anyways, I, um, uh, people were saying on the message boards, like, uh, is Stevie a lesbian? Uh, is, and <laughs> someone was like, no, I think Emily's gay. And someone's like, who's Emily? <laughs> and, then, um, and then someone, which I kind of loved, but I think she's just into the why not the label, which was this metaphor that um, uh, that Dan, uh, David, Dan's character on the show, yeah. explained his sexuality to Stevie and he explained his pansexuality to her. And at the time, that was season one of Shits, and I remember not getting it. I was like, what is that? mean i i never heard the word pan I, pansexual pansexuality and i would consider myself like i've been an actor since i was 12 forever in this community it's very open i feel like all of my friends are in the lgbtq plus community um so i was surprised that i didn't know that and then he explained it to me and then cut to like five years later when all this was happening i went to dan and i'm like what am I? Because like, I really, I was really trying to f figure it out. Cause in my relationship at the time, uh, it was like, she would have considered, she would have considered us lesbians. And then, but then I didn't feel fully like that. Um, and I said to him, I'm like, what am I like? Here's how I feel. I legitimately just fall for a person, like their vibe. That's what I'm, attracted to both sexually and like this energy that any it, and it will be from a guy or from a girl or from a trans woman or a trans man or like yeah. however somebody identifies it's not about what they even what yeah they it's if they as. bring if they're hot and if they're like yeah. hot in that way that like i don't know i feel like that you get an energy from and i'm like oh my oh, god yeah. i'm in love and then when i'm in love i'm not then i'm like oh oh Parts, like I genuinely don't think of the parts that they have that like supposedly define their gender I'm, like as long as everything's good in bed for us I don't exactly yeah so he said he's like do you not watch the show you are pan and so then from that <laughs> Dan, point on, Dan said that Dan said this mm -hmm. um and um from that point on when people would ask me in interviews in which I got a lot more of because because of the show because of my relationship it was all very much in the LGBTQ plus community yeah and then a lot of the time I would get queer which now I get queer more which we talked about and ju I, that just reminded me when I just said LGBTQ plus like it gives me anxiety that I am going to maybe miss a letter on no. there because because I do this like virtual talk showy for charity thing and I'm regularly saying that a lot of the time and I'm so scared to miss a Q or a plus or that I'm or not I or an A and, someone. Mm. Yeah, and, and and they're all they're they're all important and that's why I think some people say queer to make sure they they're they're signifying that they're being inclusive they want to they want to signify it yeah and I think I told you that that kind of it, it like I'm not bothered by much serious like not much offends me personally and this doesn't offend me it, yeah. it bother if I had a choice in the matter I I don't like the word queer I feel like people use it now a lot and this is just my opinion for me personally they use it to not get in trouble in that way not get like oh I'm calling you a lesbian when you're not a lesbian or I'm calling you this and and queer 
queer means like the definition is like weird and other and so it's it's kind of exclusionary in, yeah. and i get the reclaiming of it i get that mm -hmm. yeah but what really struck me was yes not yesterday um last week before i did a pride episode uh for hump day which i saw and, and was amazing thanks oh my god i had the best guests i mean people can still go and watch it and like we had uh, an insane, it was a two hour show. Emily, what's the, what's the link? Cause Emily does an amazing show to raise money for the actors fund, which actually doesn't just support actors. It supports everybody in the business above the yes. line, below like the line. From PAs to ushers to drag queens. Correct. To and it's called, um, uh, hump day with Hampshire. Hey, Emily, what's the, what's the link? What's, what's the site? What's the YouTube site? Um, the YouTube site, you can go to, um, the actors fund YouTube channel. Um, right. if you want a direct link to it, you can go on my Instagram. It's on my like bio thingy. Yeah. Follow. Of course you already do, but follow Emily and you'll see it because it's amazing. And she had like a line of like, line of Margaret show, Carson Cressley, um, Cox, Sarah, Kate, Cox. Sarah Kate Ellis from, uh, Glad. the president Glad. of Glad. Yeah. Um, but that was actually, so I had a million questions for her and, um, I thought it was really special that I was getting to have her on the show. So I sent an email out to all my most intelligent LGBTQ plus friends that I, you were one of them that, um, that I knew to say, like, what would you want to ask this person if you had the opportunity to? Yeah. Yeah. And what was amazing is a friend of mine, Maureen Hobson, who he said I could name him, um, he, cause he's actually, um, he's an incredible guy. He's an older man. And I only say that because he went to like fat camp with Liz Taylor. He's, he was her hairstylist. He kind of invented hairstyling, but he grew up in, um, in Texas in, in the fifties. And he, we were talking about, he wanted to say how great the Supreme court decision was. And, he said, um, he's like, I'm really glad that the New York Times forgot to put the Q in LGBTQ when they talked about it. And, hey. and, but his explanation for this kind of broke my heart. He said, when I was growing up, people didn't use the word gay. They, like that didn't exist. People used queer and as, as an insult. And so every time he he's, hears queer, he said, he's like, it cuts my heart a little to okay. hear that, that I'm being called that again. And, ooh, and I mean, it just like, because it doesn't feel that way to me, but I can understand. Of how. course. Is it, let me ask you a question. And this two two questions left, and then I'm going to jump on with my last kiss, which is Angelica. Oh yeah, right. sorry. Is it? No, 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 no. You, no you, by the way, apparently we have so many questions that you and I will do this again. We'll do this okay. again in, okay. our, in our quarantine because you know I have to put on a bra more than once a week, so I'll do it again if I must. Um, what is there a term you'd prefer for you personally, or just Emily Hampshire, and that's that? <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> I do. I understand why this has started and and why it needs to be there and and these kind of labels in a way shows visibility and i think that's in i think visibility is everything mm. for me i don't feel like i need a label it just it does bother it me is. that i have to have a label because really it's like oh i love this person i don't know if there's uh i would like to label myself i'd rather label myself right slut. well slut i'd rather be sure that word Sorry. I just, I have to tell you, because I have to get the Angelica, I love you to pieces. I love you so much. We're going to, can we do this again? Are you open for that? Okay. Yes. Yes. I know I'm you're, so sorry. I took a Emily is a writer, a host, uh, uh, obviously an actor, also an activist. I'm honored to be friends with you, and I'm honored that you got to hang out with me on your Saturday. Thank, oh, thank you. you for having me. I'm sorry I went long. I know what it's like. Okay, bye. I love you to pieces. Okay, let's get Angelica up here. Mwah. I love you. Okay, I love you. How do we do this?